All right. So let me just start off by reminding everyone that this is a general reading. Okay. So this will not resonate with every Libra out there. So you're going to want to keep this in mind. With that being said, you're going to want to pick up what I'm putting down that does resonate and simply leave the rest. Okay. Time is fluid. So although I am doing this reading in the month of June, some of these incidences or situations could be something that you've already seen or dealt with in the month or months prior, or could be something that naturally flows into the month of July. But I'm really asking for some specific messages for within this time frame of June. But like I said, there could be some things that do resonate with you that flow into the months um, previous or to come. So just keep all that in mind. We're going to be looking at the second house, which is talking about, you know, money, investment, and the 10th house, which really represents things like career, okay, um, and purpose and that sort of thing. So what I'm seeing here is Libra. We have the Page of Swords, okay? The Page of Swords uh, for a lot of you um, is going to be, and this is what I'm picking up for the collective, is going to be needing to find more information. So if for those of you that are looking to start your own business, we'll, we'll start there. For those of you that are looking to start your own business, you really need to be doing the research and looking at um, what it will take to invest in that, how much time and money will be necessary, and for some of you, manpower, in order for you to get this business jump in, okay? So Spirit says you got to put in the time to do the research to do it right, okay? And so get some more information. If you are signing new contracts, for some of you that uh, might be going back to work is what I'm hearing, or those of you that are signing a new contract in terms of a new type of career or job. They're saying pay attention to the details, all right? And for whoever this is for, I'm feeling like if you are going back to work, if you are signing back in or signing back up or clocking back in, this is what I'm seeing, you really, really need to look at the details. How much has this business changed? What are going to be the new policies that are in place now that everything has happened as of what is going on um, in the world today? Um, how was I treated during this situation that's going on in the world today? Were, did they have my back? Is my insurance still intact? I don't know if someone is asking those questions. Um, but you're really going to want to be paying attention to how the business has treated you and treated others during this time. Are you wanting to sign back up for this? Is this the place for you now? Because for a lot of you, you are seeing things in a different way from a different perspective. And so some of you are waking up to realize, I really don't want to be here. I really don't want to be a part of what this company represents. Um, corporate America is no longer the thing for me. All right. So there's a lot of details that you do need to pay attention to Libra before jumping back into current um, employment um, situations um, because there's there's a lot of things that have changed and there's a lot of things to look at that you may not have seen before. So you're going to want to check that out. Um, for those of you that are eager to go back to your jobs and haven't had the opportunity to do so, they're saying you might want to check and see what your other options are before you decide to go back into your current workspaces. Okay, so for some of you, this could be a perfect opportunity, Spirit is saying, to release yourself from the stresses or the challenges that you've had at your current job. This could be an opportunity for you to start fresh, start something new. Um, for those of you that have been considering going back to school, it's like this could be a perfect opportunity to look into the information about different schools or, dif you know, different um financial resources in order to do that. But this is really talking about getting down to the details of things, okay? So however that resonates for you, this is your overall energy so far is the need to look into the details, the things that are in front of you and the things that are hidden, okay? So 
that is the message so far from spirit that we're we're seeing okay so let's go in let's go in a little deeper here okay so yeah we have the sun card here the sun always represents um healing it could represent um happiness it's you know one of the happiest um cards in the deck and what again spirit is reminding you is that there is something libra that you could be doing or want to be doing or are thinking about doing that could really really make you happy um could really make you feel complete because i feel like for a lot of us um we might have been doing things that we weren't necessarily totally soul invested in meaning you know what it pays really decent or um you know it was easy for me to get in because i had a friend or family member that told me about the job that sort of thing um or for for some of you it's been like i've been here for so long but i don't have the passion that i should necessarily have um to be getting up every day and to be working these long hours and to be getting paid what i'm being paid so it's like reach for your happiness and really find out what that is they're asking you to go inside of yourself and say what is your ideal job or ultimately career path and this is what they're they're prompting you to do because there is a sense of healing that needs to be put that needs to take place and sometimes that just comes right down to um you know what am i lacking um what do i like about my life what do i like about my job um how can i do things differently here so asking yourself the questions some of you um may be finding yourself coming out of a space where you haven't been feeling well and you're starting to feel a little bit better and spirit is saying whatever you're doing keep doing that because right now a lot of people have been able to have some rest and recovery um, due to the situation of what's happening you know out in the world today um, so there is some healing that is going to take place there is a sense of completeness that is definitely going to come your way but it's totally up to you to play this out, Libra. And in order to do that, you have to ask yourself the questions and take the initiative to to make sure that this happens. So I do see happiness coming for you. I do feel like there is, a for a lot of you, there is a different path that is um, guiding you to align with what is your greatest purpose, okay? Um, so we're definitely going to take a look at, at that so speaking of purpose let's just jump right in um for some of you you're like okay i feel like what i'm doing right now is not necessarily what i want to do or need to do or i don't have any direction i don't know what that means for me so let's take a look and see um or some of you have been thinking about doing something and it's like i just need some confirmation is this the thing that's for me so let's let's take a look here all right, and again, this part of the message may not ring true for everyone, um, but this is what is coming out for the collective. So some of you are musically inclined or have some type of purpose connection with music, all right? Um, some of you have been wanting to write music or some of you are actually, you know, singers or rappers, something that has to do with performing some type of music. Um, producing maybe um, but there's also another message here that for those of you that aren't sure as of yet what it is you want to do when it comes to your purpose or career they're saying use music as a form of releasing some of the the clutter that's in your mind allow music to heal that creative space to really be able to dig down and figure out some things for yourself a lot of times we're like, well, I've never thought about music as being um, something that I could really meditate to. But there is a lot of healing when it comes to music. There's, you know, for me, for instance, when I'm feeling very anxious and I have to drive somewhere, I will put on my jazz music instead of any other type of music because it allows me to have some calmness. It allows me to be more focused on the road. And it also does allow me to go deeper within myself and kind of go through and get some clarity about the day before or some of the things that are on my mind. So you might want to use music 
there's spa music, um, there's all types of music out there that can actually even help you meditate. So for those of you um, that are musically inclined, it's like, you know what, get some more information about how you can do that. Is there a school that you need to sign up for? Is there um, some type of research that you need to do to get this project started when it comes to music? Um, so that is a message for um, you know, a select few, but I think that with music and, you know, I'm very big on music. I, I just love it so much. I recognize that for me personally, it does do so many different things for me. Um, some types of music can motivate me to get things done. Some type of music helps me to focus. Um, some music allows me to go into spaces that I need to release emotionally, you know, um, so don't be so hung up on the, the whole um, music thing. But I think that we could use music for more healing powers in, and to get answers that we seek. And I think a lot of times that is overlooked. Environmentalist, okay? Um, some of you might be born to nurture and to teach about nature and animals, all right? This is also um, for me. Uh, this card talks about the greater good of the earth. So this could even come down to like volunteering or protesting or, um, you know, anything that has to do with preserving nature or animals, um, just getting grounded when it comes to um, the things that people don't typically think about in the day to day. You know, we're, we're in our cars, we're in our homes, but a lot of times we don't have a lot of people that are willing to volunteer or to create projects to really preserve the other aspects that are around us. We take for granted everything that it comes to, to nature. You know, we drive past trees or we go to parks and at that moment we're like, oh, this is very peaceful, it's beautiful. But there's gotta be a group of people out there that really assist in preserving that. This could also be talking about when it comes to your purpose. Is there something that you want to do that's going to help the world as a whole? So whoever that might resonate with, okay? Again, pick up what I'm putting down. I'm going to pull out as many messages as Spirit says that I need to. And I apologize for any um, background um, noise. There's been a lot going on on the road uh next to my house and I don't really know why that's been lately but let's see all right it says trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path okay so again like I said music environmentalist um, those types of things might not ring true to you okay that's just a little thing that I like to do to bring this forward and illuminate that for confirmation for those people in, in the collective that have been um, looking for confirmation for that. But uh, certainly you could use um, some of those things like music in, in your own life. But you need to trust, okay, Libra, you need to trust your own feelings and allow your dreams to guide your career path. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, it's your decision as to how you're going to move forward in your life and i always tell people don't allow you know tarot readings or friends and families to pick what your ultimate path is going to be you have to use your own intuition you have to trust your own gut feelings to say this is what's right for me and this not so much all right so let's look at what the star seed oracle has to say very good all right Yes, so karmic relationships does pop up here. And the reason why, Libra, is other aspects of our life do tend to get in the way of other things that we got going on. So for some of you, it also talks about conflict. Um, some of you have some conflict within your homes, within your relationships. A lot of you are dealing with a karmic situation it could be a relationship where you're tied in with someone else and that toxic energy 
and that confusion and that conflict behind that relationship could be the very thing that is hindering you from moving forward and losing the focus towards your career, towards your job, towards your next steps on going to school. So there's like, you know, this is what is hindering you at this point. There's so much that is going on in the world around you. But for some of you, there is a karmic relationship. There could be a karmic lesson that um, you definitely needed to learn. Maybe there's someone that you're dealing with that is draining your energy, draining your bank account, draining your mental space in order for you to tap into what the second and 10th house is, is trying to say to you about your career, about your finances, and even your credit score, okay? That just popped up. So you're going to want to pay attention for anything that feels very toxic, like a karmic relationship can be. You might feel like it's necessary for you to do certain things or to be around certain people or to be in certain places, but it's like that situation is not for you or it's no longer for you. So it's time to move forward and to move out of the confusion move out of the conflict. Some of this is inner conflict and really sort things out. You can literally create yourself into a karmic situation by allowing yourself to stay in environments that are no longer serving you, all right? So you are prompted to take a look at anything that is representing karmic energy, okay? Karmic energy is definitely something that needs to roll off here. All right. All right. So that is um, what we're seeing when we when we see work and career. Um, but let's look at what is coming up for you in terms of money. What is money looking like for Libra at this point in time? Month of June spirit. OK, first thing that comes out is the nine of swords. Yeah, some of you might be, might be stressing about money and your finances a lot of sleepless nights a lot of anxiety about certain things that need um, to be handled need to be paid um, some of you have been waiting a long time for certain money to come all right and so there is a lot of stresses that you have um, when it comes to your finances and it comes to money right now um, but the queen of cups is definitely here so there is some um, compassionate energy that is coming through um, from the universe, from others. So uh, if you have been waiting for a long period of time and there has been a sense of lack, the universe is saying they are literally working on your behalf. There is some compassionate energy that is coming to fill your cup up, okay, so to speak. Um, some of you might see that there will be someone like a mother, an auntie, um, someone very compassionate it doesn't necessarily have to be um, female energy that comes around. There could be someone that really steps in and is able to give to you during this time. But I do feel like this is more so the universe saying, we hear your cry. We see your sleepless nights. We understand what is going on. We are definitely coming in to deliver. Um, right behind that is the nine of pentacles. Okay. What you have coming in. Libra is definitely going to be something that will allow you to build. It'll allow you to start to um, have enough to save, have enough to pay into your harvest, have enough for you to catch up on your bills. Some of you right now have reaped great benefits of not being at work right now because there are other things that have stepped into play and you are now able to invest in your projects, save a little bit money. Um, even start new things that you never thought that you would be able to start before. So either way, with the um, Nine of Pentacles being here, there is some relief coming for those of you that have been waiting. Um, for those of you that have already um, received some of this, um, just know, Libra, that um, with the Knight of Wands, okay, with the Knight of Wands, there's more coming in. So if you're in lack, there's more coming in. There's help on the way. Um, and it's coming in expediently. So it's like if you've been waiting, it's like once that money comes in, it's going to start rolling and it's going to come in and it's going to keep coming in. If you have 
some income right now. It's like this is just the beginning. This to me is there's more help is on the way. Okay, there's more money that is is coming through. This is coming towards you. All right. Now, with the Four of Cups energy, for those of you that have been waiting, all right, and in lack, you may have had the Queen of Cups energy come towards you. There may have been people along the way that have been like, you know what, let me help you out. For those of you, you're having the attitude like, oh, you know, there's a lot of pride in the way. I totally get that. I am an Aquarius. I like to give because I'm the humanitarian. I have a hard time receiving. So for some of you, you're having a difficult time receiving, um, you know, money and help from others. But the universe is saying that we are, you might be looking at this as um, help from um, the realm of, you know, just regular human beings. But this is a divine help that's being sent. And the universe is using people and resources to assist you. So this is not a handout. This is not a pity party, Libra. This is literally uh, the universe trying to send in their help until things start to come in more rapidly um, with your own name on the check, with your own bank account, um, you know, being filled up on its own or by you or by the resources or the people that you trust. So it's like you have a little bit of pride and a little bit of trust issues. Okay, well, this person says they're willing to help me out. Are they really going to help me out? Um, this person says that, you know, it's no problem, but there are, you know, is this going to be talked about later? Am I going to be indebted to this person after all of this? So it's just like the universe is like, okay, you know, this is not the case here. All right. You definitely can ex accept the help. Um, but with the well energy here, um, I do feel like for some of you, you are hiding in a space of, no, I'm good. I'm okay. Um, you know. I don't really need the help. And there's also another message that I see here. Um, a lot of you are going to be going into different spaces. You're going to be going into new jobs. You are going to be seeking more information about school or different jobs or starting something new that you've never started before. So this is going into new territory. For some of you, you are hiding um, how much you're going through financially or um, not wanting to take the help but for others and ultimately for both groups you will be going into a new space all right and this is what i love here um at the very end here you know the star card shows up so this could be um someone significant in your life that is an aquarius or you could have aquarius in your chart but ultimately this is talking about keeping the faith just know that your finances are going to get better, Libra. Um, there is some help on the way and it's going to continue to flow. You just have to get out of the energy of not believing it's coming, not being open to the help, not being open to the possibility that help is, is on the way or that things are going to get better. Um, so with the star card, it says, um, have faith that things are going to change. For some of you that have been wanting to start something or wanting to go in a new direction, it's like, you know what? Take that leap of faith and just know that all will be well, okay? Be very assured that all will be well because this is what this card represents, all right? It's destined to be. It's destined to happen. It will come, all right? And remember, we do have this sun card here that does talk about, you know, healing or completion on the horizon, all right, happiness, 